For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. It's plain and simple. The Bible says that only Jesus saves. Is there salvation in any other? For there is none other name under heaven, given among men whereby we must be saved. Enter ye the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leadeth into light, and few there be that find it. Not everyone will say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? In thy name have we not cast out devils? And in thy name done wondrous works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. Imagine the holy, loving God telling you to depart from him because you work in iniquity. And that holy and righteous God, the Bible speaks about the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And without the Lord Jesus Christ, you will stand before Him in your iniquity, not washed. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, and you reject the gift of God, the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, Christ has done everything for you, for you not to go to hell. You just must put your faith in trust on what Jesus has done, what Jesus has accomplished, and what you cannot. Because the Bible says, if you were to proclaim, well, I'm a good person. When the Bible says there are none that do it good, no, not one. When the Bible proclaims that there are none righteous, no, not one, you are not good enough, you are not righteous enough to stand before a holy God. For God so loved the world that he gave the holy God to God, that whosoever believes in him is not spirit, but have ever left the way that God has People want more love, but they don't understand the love of God is shred abroad in his long suffering that the preaching 
of the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And that he was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the love of God. And that is what must be received. That will be taken by faith for you to get to heaven. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus said, I am the way, and there's no other access to God the Father except by Him, you're not coming to God on your own goodness. You're not coming to God on your righteousness. You're not coming to God on your works. And you're surely not going to come to God by religion. Religion is not approved by God. Jesus Christ is approved. Jesus Christ who is God. And that there is no other. I was talking to a couple of Jehovah Witnesses today, this week. Oh, there's God and there's Jesus. Absolutely hogwash. Because there is God and there is Jesus as one. Thomas said, my Lord, my God, and that's the one you're to put your faith in. And you've got to be forewarned because the Bible speaks about another Jesus. You may have a Jesus, but is he the biblical Jesus? Or is he Satan's Jesus? Because there's coming a time in the great history or the future of this world that's coming the Antichrist. But you need not worry about that right now. You need to worry about Jesus Christ as your Savior. Because when you die, if you are to die without Jesus Christ, you will go into hell by the loving God. Because the loving God has shed brought his, his blood that you might be saved. And he is going forth for you to believe on his work. And to trust his work. And to fulfill what he has sent forth Jesus Christ to do. And that is for you to believe and trust. And that he may apply into you the Holy Spirit and the fruits thereof and that he may give you love joy and peace through the Holy Spirit and that there is no other peace there is no other love there is no other joy but temporal you see the world and the earth can give you love but it's not lasting the world has a joy, but it co comes at a cost. The, the world has a peace until the big kid on the block starts up again. The world is, is not secure as the secureness of God through Jesus Christ. You see, the love, joy, and peace of God is not a pill and it don't come in a bottle and it's not something that can be prescribed it's in the lord jesus christ god manifested in the flesh that he suffered and died according to the scriptures for you and that he was buried and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures and the bible says go in all the world and preach the gospel and I'm not going to throw any prosperity at you. I am not going to say $10 will get you $10,000. And I'm not going to tell you that this prayer could heal you of all your ailments. But I can tell you your faith and belief in the finished work of Jesus Christ is able to put your name in the Lamb's book of life and to be in the Lamb's book of life by the faith of Jesus Christ. When you were to die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Oh, yes. By Jesus Christ does a man go to heaven. And only by Jesus Christ does a man go to heaven. Anything else but Jesus Christ you will end up in the flames of hell forever. The man without Jesus Christ died and was buried 
and in hell he lifted up his eyes in torment. You will be in torment in hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. As much as the scripture spoke about Jesus being born in Bethlehem, the scripture also speaks about burning in hell without Christ. It's okay that you reject, it's okay you walk on, but rest assured the scriptures are true. That only Jesus is able to save your soul. That same Jesus is the Jesus we preach here. There is coming a time in your life, in your life, there will be a period called death. You will die. The wages of sin is death. You can reach the top score of your education. You can reach the highest, the highest rung of your career. You can reach out the maximum benefits of your stocks. You can have the greatest family of ever. And yet, when you reach death, and if you die in your sins, most likely you will be buried. But in hell, you'll lift up your eyes in torment. A person cannot be saved after they die. It's too late. There is no second chance. Praying I'm out of purgatory. Now the Bible says that there is a second death, but there is no second chance. If you were to party, hardy, and clint, I thought it was mine. If you're the party hardy and have great times on this planet, if you're to die without Jesus, that party's not going to continue in hell. It's too dark. There's too much torment. And there's no alcohol. Hell is in prohibitation of alcohol, of love, of joy, of peace, and mercy, and grace. There is none in hell. That rich man in hell said, oh, if I could just have a drop of water for my tongue that is being tormented at the moment, at all moments, and he did not get that mercy of that drop of water. He did not get that grace of his tongue being cold. He suffered and is still suffering today as you will without Jesus Christ. There is no prescription drugs of pain relief in hell. You may have a pharmacist in hell, but he can't help you. Doctors in hell can't prescribe you anything. There's nothing to write on. And the fact is that hell is darkness in the absence of life that Jesus Christ is. For Jesus said, I am the light of the world. You have left this world without Christ. And you have entered into a place with no light, no life, but the wrath of God always abiding upon you John says and yet you're to leave this world in faith and belief of Jesus Christ the Bible speaks about there's a place where there's no need of sun or moon it says the lamb and God shall be the light thereof the one that suffered and died upon Calvary's cross will be our light that shineth forever in that place of New Jerusalem by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. The Bible has said, prepare for us mansions. 
a body that will not sin, a body that will not ever suffer, a Bible that will have a, bi a body that will have no more tears, no more sins, no more breakdowns. You'll have an everlasting body without torment. You'll have forever love, joy, peace without the sin, without the curse. Placed upon man by Adam for disobeying the word of God. You see, well, preacher, I am not that bad of a sinner. You're the most wicked sinner right now. You're the most vilest, disgusting sinner of all time. Because you will not put your faith in Jesus. And that is disobeying the scriptures. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you have not believed. You are rejecting the word of God just as much as Adam rejected the word of God about that fruit. Congratulations. You are a sinner. And upon rejecting Jesus, if you continue to reject Jesus, if you will never put your heart upon Jesus, you hold in your hand the, the tickets to hell. And the Bible speaks about that in hell there are gates. Those gates will never open to you again once you walk through them. You are in condemnation in the wrath of God. In hell. Did you ever get the one the wall? In hell. Think about it. In hell. H E L L. And you'll spend all your life in hell and there is no party. Yeah. Did you see the motorcycle guy? Uh-huh. Forever without time and torment and torment and the cops and, and saw they, it and they and they set it up. We, I listened to him say, "You want me to go over there and just rub my engine in front of?" Well, he, he's doing it. He's, 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 he's using freedom of speech too. Yeah. So yeah. it's the same concept. Yeah. He's playing his music as his way. And you guys are doing your the thing. First, yep. the first so he is being a hypocrite. Yeah, the first week, he said that we were panhandlers. We don't have anything out in front of us collecting money, but he does. Yeah. He yeah. called us a panhandler. Yeah. But and, that, we're, and we're not. That, that's the devil working through him. Oh, yeah, him. through his heart. And, yeah. and then people can see, normal Christians can see that he is he's weak. Yeah. And he's just grasping for straws. Oh, yeah. To get, his, to get his thing heard, but nobody's listening to him. Yeah, and, they, and he starts.